everyone so for today's video I wanted to talk about five things that I like to do to feel better to feel my best self to pick myself up when I'm just in a bit of a in a bit of a slump we all have our down days we all have days where we're like I'm not feeling myself we all have days where we just feel a bit crummy and I have five things I like to do to pick myself back up again and to feel better I'd love to know the ways that you make yourself feel better so do leave those down below in the comments we can all have a look we can all share our ideas on feeling our best self so I think everybody will agree when we're having a bit of a down day the best thing to pick ourselves up is a bit of me time. Self-indulgence and skincare and a good routine is so important for feeling your best self. Feel good from the outside in, all that good stuff. One of my favourite beauty brands which is Roger and Galle have recently released a really luxurious skincare range called the Aura Mirabilis range and it's the perfect me time four step skincare routine. It's not just a quick splash at the sink. It really gives you the opportunity to wind down and enjoy a relaxing skincare routine and it's just key to making yourself feel better. So I like to run a bath and carry out my four step routine. It's such, it's just the ultimate treat for myself. Roger and Galle took inspiration from an elixir founded by monks about 300 years ago. And this was called Aqua Mirabilis. So the first thing I like to do is use the extra fine cleansing mask. So this removes makeup, detoxifies and revives radiance. So you can either use this as a makeup remover or leave it on for longer and use it as a detoxifying face mask which I quite like to do when I get in the bath but it's really really good for just taking off the makeup at the end of the day. It's oil based but it's the type of thing that once water's added it turns into this milky texture which I absolutely love. Next up I like to use the beauty vinegar and this one was the one that I was very reserved about and I was a bit like a vinegar it smells nothing like vinegar that was my fear it smells nothing like vinegar it further removes makeup and the residue but it smooths the skin and eliminates dead cells it refines your skin texture clarifies and refreshes the skin's complexion so this one is a really good face pick me up and it removes the excess makeup that may still be on there so this next one is the double extract so this restores revives and infuses radiance it's so hydrating and you basically just pour it directly onto the palms and I like to gently pat that in all over the face and then the final step of skincare is the legendary cream so this renews evens out and illuminates the skin this is my ultimate step I love this if your skin's feeling a bit uncomfortable or dehydrated it just really gives it that drink and that moisture that it needs and it's just so luxurious on the skin. It boosts the skin's radiance and texture and it just feels like you're having an at-home facial by yourself and it's very good. So this one's kind of in between a gel and a cream because it's kind of firm when you first dip your hands into it but it kind of melts on application it's really fresh but also really comforting so me time a good skincare routine a good little pamper is absolutely essential for feeling better so something that I absolutely love to do is organize so plan tidy organize all that kind of stuff tidy house tidy mind sometimes when things are cluttered my mind just feels cluttered or if everything's tidy and my mind still feels cluttered writing a good list always always helps me feel better whether it be a list of things I want to do so a to-do list or a shopping list or just things I want to get done or things I want to plan so I'm a real big planner I like writing plans in my diary I like checking through my calendar and then transferring it into a diary I like making plans to put in the diary or other things I like to do if I'm feeling particularly low or quite stressed or just a bit like out of control, I like to sort out and organise my drawers or go through my makeup collection and declutter. I like to just organise the wardrobe, think I don't need this. Decluttering is so key for me for feeling better and just writing things down. Take things from your head, pop it on paper. Organisation is always a pick me up. So another thing we all like to do to feel better is exercise. Now some people may work out and have a gruelling fitness routine I simply just like to have a walk so I love walking my dog Rupert is just my key source of happiness really he makes me so happy he's absolutely brilliant and when I walk him obviously that's outside and outside being outside just clears the head it 
gives you a fresh air, you may bump into somebody, you may have human contact. It just makes me feel so much better going on a walk, new surroundings, and just taking a stroll. Here he is. Here's the man in question. Hey? You make me happy. You make me feel better. Yeah! <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Number four is outside influencers, aka positive people, like your family, your friends and loved ones. Make plans, go and see them, knock on their door, ring their doorbell, have a catch up, just be with the people that make you feel better. I know that my mood can go from like here to here, just after 20 minutes of being with my mum and dad, or my sister, or my best friend, or my grandma. It's just lovely to be with somebody else. Even if you're not in the mood to have a discussion, or anything like that, just sit with them and watch a film. Just be with positive people, just be with people that you love and people that make you happy. And finally, something I like to do to make myself feel better is read. So reading blogs, reading a book, reading magazines, whether it be like a novel or a kind of coffee table book that you can pick up and read a few pages and put down again. I just love to read. It kind of takes your minds off things and gives yourself a new focus. You can immerse yourself in a new world and just get inspiration from what you're reading. I like just switching off and entering like a new world. You can block everything else out and read. And something similar as well that I love, I just love, is colouring. Mindfulness colouring, adult colouring. Who would have thought, well I would have thought, I loved colouring as a child and it just takes me back to colouring and it's great, again, you can shut everything else out and focus on the task at hand, which is colouring, and uh, get yourself a new pack of colouring pencils, of pens, whatever you want to use. I really enjoy colouring. I think that because it reminds me of, a bi of being a carefree, wild and free child, I just love colouring. My friends and family love these mindfulness colouring books and they're really, really helpful for switching off. So those are five things I like to do to make myself feel better. I would love to know what you do to make yourself feel better, what you do to pick yourself up. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful. I am now going to go and do my four step skincare routine because I may need a bit of a me time pamper. Give me a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!